Codsworth. Mr. Tristel, the Mrs. and young Sean, they aren't here. Thanks for trying, Codsworth. You can't give up, sir. What about the city? Concord is nearby, and, well, the people there have only shot at me a few times. There's still people alive in Concord? Yes, although they're a bit rough. You remember the way? just across the southern footbridge out of the neighborhood and past the red rocket station? I shall remain here and secure the home for you. All by yourself. You want to come with me, pal? Okay, then. Let's stick together.
I don't know who you are, but your timing's impeccable. Preston Garvey, Commonwealth Minuteman. God damn it. Glad to help. Well, if that's true, we could use some more goodwill. As you can see, we're in a bit of a mess here. Maybe? Please, go on. <sighs> nope. A month ago, there were 20 of us. Yesterday, there were eight. Now we're five. First, it was the ghouls in Lexington, and now this mess. Sorry. Sounds rough. Huh. Thanks. Nah, that ain't it's it. It's good to meet someone who really cares. Anyway, we figured Concord would be a safe place to settle. Those raiders proved us wrong. Maybe? But, well, we do have one idea. Nope. One good idea can make all the difference. Sturgis, tell him. There's a crashed vertebrate up on the roof. Old school. Pre-war. You might have seen it. Well, looks like one of its passengers left behind a seriously sweet goodie. We're talking a full suit of cherry T-45 power armor. 
military issue. I like it. <laughs> yeah, I thought you might. Protection with an added bonus. Get the suit. You can rip the minigun right off the vertibird. Do that, and those raiders get an express ticket to hell. You dig? Minigun. Now we're talking. I know, right? Only there's one hitch. The suit's out of juice. Probably been dry for a 